Hi, this is Jason with Batrix, and today we're going to do a 100 PSI pneumatic pressure test with our Bluetooth enabled ETG gauge. We're going to run the test using the remote gauge app and the data director app, which is on my Apple phone. Both apps are free on the Apple store. All right, to get started, I'm going to launch the remote gauge app. We're going to scan for the device. So this is using Bluetooth Low Energy. Found the serial number. We're going to select it. So we're connecting to the gauge. So now we're displaying the live pressure reading from the gauge. So to get a data logging session started, I'm going to first check the settings. Right now I have it set to five seconds. I'm going to turn it down to three seconds and I'm going to start logging. So you see in the gauge now we are logging. So I'm recording all the data that's being stored on the chip in the gauge. Okay, so now I'm going to use the mid-match feature and I'm going to reset it. So we're tracking the live pressure and the minimum pressure. As you see, we have a fine leak rate, so I can make adjustments. I can reset. And we can troubleshoot and try to find a leak and see at the same time what is going on. Another handy feature we have is the leak test feature. So I'm going to start a leak test. As you see, we are counting down. We have a real-time clock in the gauge. So this is a pressure decay method. You have to run the test for at least 10 seconds to get meaningful data. We're going to run it for 20, and then I'm going to review the results. So we had a leak rate of 0.182 PSI per minute. I can do a new test. I can increase the pressure. So now we actually do not have a leak. We're fighting that leak based on the increase in pressure. I can view the results after 15 seconds. And it's a negative number. So those are just a couple handy features to help you troubleshoot a pneumatic test. So let's get back and use the data director app. Once again, on the scan, for my device, I'm going to find it. It's connected. So now I'm going to upload the data during this whole test. I'm going to upload the data. You see it's transferring the data. This is session two. I can rename it. We'll call it session two test. We can view the selected. Now we'll put it in landscape mode. I can zoom in, I can see the data, the actual data points with the date and time. So I've just done a test with a NIST traceable pressure device with date and time stamp. Now I can save the results to the phone. I can upload it to the cloud with any Google or Gmail account. So thanks for tuning in to short video on pneumatic pressure testing with the Vatrix ETG gauge.